Right, so these scarabs down here, there's uh, five of them there. So, um, can anybody remember what is a scarab? What would you call it in English? A beetle. A dung beetle. A beetle, a dung beetle. Yeah. Now, why, why is it called a dung beetle? It eats the dung. Oh, it ate the dung. Yeah. Yeah. It lives in dung. It lives in dung. It puts its eggs in dung. Correct. And it mostly lives in dung all the time. Lovely alive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who'd uh, be a dung beetle? Um, anyway, and they used to worship them amazingly. But anyway, a dung beetle would be putting its eggs in dung and rolling it. And interesting, it was only the man, only the male scarab, that would roll the ball with the babies in female was no long, nowhere to be seen, some of the species. So it would roll the ball of dung with his babies inside, roll it across the sand or wherever it was going in a straight line, it would always be a dead straight line. And eventually when it came to something soft, it would bury them, perhaps in the sand of Egypt or something, you see. And then a few months later, how long it takes for a baby scarab to be born, um, another Egyptian would be walking through the desert, walking like an Egyptian, of course. <laughs> and uh, he'd see a little scarab coming out of the sand. Maybe lots of them all together, but there's no mummy and no daddy. They're just coming out of the sand on their own. So the word for scarab in, e in Egyptian is kepri, K-H-E-P-R-I, kepri, which means self-produced life. So they thought that the life produced itself. So does that remind you of any belief that people have today, any teaching yeah. that people have? Spontaneous generation is part of evolution, yeah, that life comes from nothing, and that life comes from non-life. So if you look at Romans 1.22, if you put the Bible handy, Romans 1.22 and 23, it says something like, although asserting they were wise, they became foolish. And they imputed the glory to, to Jehovah. They imputed it to uh, animals and four-footed creatures and creeping things, just like the dumb people. So isn't that today? People think they're clever, scientific, very clever, and yet they're only looking at part of the evidence. They're not looking at what happened under the sand or before the thing was put in the sand. They're only looking at the last bit. And so it is with evolution today. It's only looking at part of the evidence. So the idea was the Egyptians had the idea of the scarab rolling the big ball across the ground. They thought that was a bit like a god rolling the sun across the sky. <coughs> it's obvious, isn't it? It must be true. Rolling that big ball across the sky. It's going to be a dumb bit, isn't it? So that's what they did. They thought, wow, that's our god. Making new life every day. Coming around again the next morning, another ball. <laughs> so that was their, one of their main gods that they had. 